Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this particular video, I will explain the problem next happy number. So below is the problem statement. It says that for a given non-negative integer n, find the next smallest happy number. Now what is a happy number? So a number is called happy if it leads to 1 after a sequence of steps, wherein at, at each step the number is replaced by the sum of square of its digit. Fine. That is, if we start from a happy number and keep replacing it with the sum of square of its digits, then we will reach 1 at some point. Let me explain this. So I am going to take an example. Let's say I have an example 32. So for this number, I will uh, keep performing the steps. So in the first step, I have to replace the number with the sum of square of its digits. So I have 9 plus 4, which is 13, right? After this, I'll replace with 1 plus 9. So I have 10 here. After this, I'll again replace with the sum of square of digits. So I have 1 plus 0, right? So this will give me 1. Now you can see that after perform performing certain steps, I have got 1. This means that 32 is a happy number. So let me write this. 32 is a happy number. Now let me take the example of a non-happy number as well. So let's say I have a number 9. So I'll replace the number with the sum of square of its digits. So for this I have 81, right? After this I have 64 plus 1 which is 65. After this I have 36 plus 25. Okay, so 36 plus 25 it will give me 61. After this, I'll have 36 plus 1, which is 37. After this, I'll get, uh, for this, I have 9 and then I have 49, which will give me 58, right? So after this, I have 25 plus 64, which will give me 89. After this, I have, uh, okay, so 64 plus 81, right? This will give me 145. After this, I have... 1 plus 16 which is 17 plus 25 which will give me 42 and after this i will have 16 plus 4 which is 20 again then i will have 4 after this i'll have 16 then i'll have 37 after this i will have 58 again okay so it's repeating right i have 37 as well and then i have 58 then 89 so it will give me a cycle and this is going to give me, okay, so when I check this thing in a loop, then this will give me infinite loop, right? So this means that 9 is not a happy number because this will never give me 1. So I'll say that 9 is the example of non-happy number. Now, I hope you guys are clear with the concept of happy and non-happy number. So let's move back to the problem. The problem says that we are given a number and we have to find the next smallest happy number. So we are given this example 8, right? For 8, we are going to check for uh, every number after 8. So I have 9, 10, 11 and so on, right? So for 9, I am sure that this is not a happy number. I have already checked this thing, right? What about 10? For 10, if you see here, then you can see that just after performing the operation, we have got 1, right? So this means that 10 is a happy number. 10 is a happy number. So we can simply return 10 in our output, right? Now, I hope you have understood the problem well. So, let's talk about the solution now. Okay, so let me write the same example again. I have n equals to 8, right? And what we are going to do is we are going to check every number after 8. So, I have 9, 10, 11 and so on, right? So, what I'll do is if I am given a number n. So, my first step is to do n plus plus. This will give me the next number after uh, this given number n, right? So it will give me 9. After this, I'm going to check for 9, 10, 11 and so on. So I'll run a loop while, while 1. This is going to be an infinite loop till I get a happy number, right? So I'll check if is happy n. This means that I'm checking for current number, whether the current number is happy. So if the number is happy, then I'll simply return n, right? And if the number is not happy, then I'm going to increment the number. Just the same way as we have seen here, like we have 9. 9 is not a happy number. Then we are incrementing the value of 9. This will give me 10. And then we will check for 10, right? And we will keep checking till we find a happy number. So now the question is how to check is happy, right? So we have already seen the concept here. All we need to do is we need to keep performing the operation till we get a happy number. But there is a problem. The problem is how to avoid this infinite loop. 
you can see that we have 37 then 58 and so on and then when we reach 37 then again we have the same number like the same steps here right so how to avoid this how to avoid this in order to avoid this we are gonna store every value in a set right so i'll store this 9 in the set then i'll store 30, 81 then i'll store 65 then 61 then 37 right 37 and so on right so when we see this 37 again and we know that we have already seen this 37 right right at this point we have to stop and we will say that hey this 9 is not a happy number this is how we can move so let me write the code as well the code will give you more clear understanding so let's say i have a number i have a function is happy and this function contains n as the parameter all i need to do is First, my first step is to make a set, right? So let me change the color. So I'll make a set. Uh, okay, so I'll make a map even. Map is more easy because we just need to store the value and one or zero for the value is present or not, right? Now, while while my current value n is present in the map, so map dot contains contains n. Okay, so not map dot contains n. This means that the value is not present in the map till now. So my first step is going to uh, like insert the value in the map. This will mark the value as visited, right? So after this, I have to get the sum. I have to get the sum of square of digit. How to get the sum of square of digit? This is quite simple step. We have a while loop and then we while n is greater than 0 then every time I have to get the last digit. So let's say I have a number 3, 2, 4. For this first, uh, first of all I'll get this number 4 then I'll add 4 into 4 right and after this I'll divide the number by 10. When I do so then I'll be left with this 32 right. So at each step my first step is to get the last digit which is n mod 10. This is how we get and at last we have to like divide the number by 10 so i'll say that n equals to n by 10 right between this i have to do this thing so i'll do sum plus equals to d into d this will give me the sum of square of digit ultimately right and at this point i will have the sum of square of digit so i have to check one condition if this sum is equal to 1 now if this sum is equal to now 1 so if the sum is equal to 1 at any point then i can say that the number is happy right so let me write this here i'll simply say that return return true true basically means that uh, the number is happy because when this function returns true then i will have true here right and this will say that okay this number is happy so return it fine so if the number is happy then I have to return it and if the, this whole loop is complete and the number is not happy then I'll simply do return false right. But hold on we have to do one more thing. We have 32 then we have 13 then we have 10 right. So first of all we perform the operation on 32 then we perform the operation on 13. So we have to assign the value to n. So I'll say that hey now my value of n is equal to sum. I hope you have understood this thing right so after this this is all we need to do this is all we need to do and this is gonna work fine talking about the time complexity of this approach so the time complexity of this approach will be uh, this loop uh, let's say this loop runs x time this outer while loop and this n loop is going to okay so inner loop is going to work uh, like run log n time this is something that we know already right because each time we are going to divide n by 10 so this will give me log uh, 10 into uh, like log n right this is the complexity so the total complexity of this part is going to be x log n what about this part for this part let's say this loop runs y times so this will give me the total complexity as uh, y cross x log n so this is the complexity we can even replace this part with a single variable so let's say i have k log n k log n so this is the complexity that we have, that we have and now let me show you the code so this is the code on the left hand side i have the c++ code and then we have the java and python code so you can see here this is the first step and this is the main function that we have we just keep incrementing the number n till we get a happy number right 
हाउ टू चेक अप्पी नंबर हेयर आई हैव मेड अ मैप सो हेयर आई हैव मेड अ मैप एंड दिस लूप इज गोइंग टू वर्क टिल द वैल्यू इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन द मैप राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू विजिट द वैल्यू एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द सम एंड देन जस्ट रिप्लेस एम विद सम टिल वी गेट वन एंड द सेम थिंग वी आर डूइंग हेयर the same thing we are doing here just the difference is of uh, like language so here i have used hash map and then i am checking whether the map contains key or not so if it contains key then i am just going to jump out of the loop and return false right and this is the python code that we have so i hope you guys have understood the problem and the solution as well this is all about this video thank you